Hey y'all, uh, not Scott here. No, I'm just, uh, hi, how you doing? <laughs> I have nothing for this week. I am still working on things. So I thought I'm just, I'm just gonna make a song and I'll show you how to do it, I guess. Uh, I'm using something called Cubase 10 Pro. Uh, it is a DAW, it, the DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation. It's where all the magic happens. There are free ones. Uh, this one costs money. It's very worth it. Um, there are more basic versions than the Pro, but I don't really know what comes with it. Um, but anyways, I'm just gonna show how to make a song. It's just a lazy video of me literally just putting together something really fast because uh, I want to go to bed. So here's your da, all right? The music programs are called VSTs. They're kind of the things that I use for like drums or orchestra. Uh, some of them come with the da. Some of them you get on your own. You buy them or you download them. There's a bunch of free VSTs out there to use with free da's, which is really cool. If VSTs are video games, then da's are kind of like the consoles that play them. Basically, you know, I go here, right click, add instrument track. Simple already. Crazy. It's like we're making the song already. God. <laughs> you, you, know, you click on instrument, you pick your thing, you have a bunch of different little sections here. Obviously, I have a lot more stuff because I bought, you know, a, 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 a bucket load. But uh, let's use Hallian. This is a thing that comes with Cubase. I don't know if it's in the more basic versions. Whatever. Uh, good luck. <laughs> I'm going to be really basic here. I'm going to go up piano. You just pick from whatever. I'm going to pick Yamaha because I actually know what that is. It's a brand, in case you guys don't know. I'm a corporation fan. I'm a fan of corporations. I, I love them so much. Um... <laughs> So you have the piano. Next thing you want to do is how do you get the piano roll to come up where you can actually see what you, you can do? If you go up here, you see like you see like a little pencil thing, little pencil thing. You just do that. You click it and you just kind of drag and you make like you have an, a starting and end marker. You have this going on here. So basically what you want to do is you can make it as long as you want, but I'm going to go with like four bars and then you just double click uh, the, the space and bam. Whoa, you have an empty box. You click on it again. You're in the piano. It's crazy. Look at this. Listen, you can freeform jazz and just write, you know, whatever. Just check it out. Chat, what is... This is Pokemon, right? Like I said, I'm gonna make this super basic, so maybe I'll just have like more than one piano track. Let's say I want like a rhythm and, and lead, but in two separate parts. So if I wanna do that, I right click on piano, I go to duplicate tracks. Wow, now I got two. Piano D, this is gonna be piano two, cause I don't care about titles right now. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know what that was. So, I mean, I'll do something basic. I mean, finding my root note, I, I just go random. So I mean, whatever. By the way, if you don't have a keyboard, you can just click on these, you know? And if you click on the pencil up here, that's how you start placing notes. You know, up here you can change the uh, the thing. <laughs> you can change the, the note sizes, so like eighth notes, sixteenth notes, whatever. I'm gonna pick a chord or just like a rhythm note. Simple. Go to C. I don't know. You know what? Let's go to an E because why not? By the way, if you wanna turn on the metronome, you hit C. You can see a little part highlight down here, or you can just click it there too. But C activates the metronome, the click. And you definitely wanna know if everything's in time. You don't wanna be slouching. You wanna be a little slothy potato boy. Do you? Do you? I'm not feeling this 4-4 nonsense, all right? I want to make it a little more, I want to give it a little, more of a waltzy kind of vibe, maybe. So I go 3-4, you just do it right down here, you just click on that thing. Bam, 3-4 now, great. If this bar is not as big as mine, click, <laughs> sounds weird. Uh, click on these little three dots on some of them, and it'll expand for more options. Very plowing. Okay, so I just want like three normal rhythm notes, so just, you know, like, extend to here. You can also see the thick white lines here is where the bars are kind of split. Maybe like two of those, and then come up. By the way, it helps to learn scales. You might want to like look those up, especially if you don't play an instrument and you're trying to write music. That makes it, I feel like that makes it a, a lot harder. So you might want to, you know, look up some minor, major scales, any kind of scales. You kind of know, you know, what you want to play in. The more you do it, the easier it does. It gets to kind of form like notes in your head. You can kind of start singing a melody and you just kind of map it out. The Paisano lead. Very, very clever. If it's just the bass and the lead, it could sound kind of empty. So I kind of want to fill it out. I'd get notes that are a little higher than the bass ones. And sometimes I like to make them harmonize. Um, I'm in E. So let's say I go like here. This should already sound like it's harmonizing a bit. See what I mean? And you just you can just go like... That, th that won't fit. I can already tell. Just in my head, I know that wouldn't fit. But if I go here, that would fit. You see? You know, something like that. Yeah, there. There, you can feel it right there, right? Having a bit of that theory knowledge will definitely help you. Uh, but also, yeah, just throw things at the screen. Some You could just throw stuff at the screen sometimes and just see what fits in your head. Make sure it sings in your head, though. Make sure it feels good. A lead will probably be the hardest thing because I like to try to make it as catchy as possible. But like I said, I am rushing through this like it's an any percent Mario 64 speedrun. Look, I'm hip. I know video games. I don't know if I, I don't have to justify it. It's like half my life, video games. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. 
You know, so like, uh, but now I'm thinking I might want to actually change the notes. <laughs> so maybe if I go like, like this. You see what I mean? That already sounds cooler. Okay, that already sounds like Rivali's theme or something, so maybe I'll change it up a bit. The songs are... You're influenced by so many other styles, and that becomes, you know, your style in the end. If you're taking that melody and everything about it, then yeah, you know, it's, it's ripping it off. But if you're using a chord progression that another thing used, people have been using that chord progression for hundreds of years, you know? But in this case, this really does sound like Rivali's theme, so I might have to change some stuff up. Whatever, you know, just... <laughs> nope, that sounds weird. This chord progression, it looks like it can, it can keep running. Like, I could loop it, but it sounds like it's unfinished, you know? Okay, I, I'm like too tone deaf, but I know what note I'm going for. You could be stuck on this one little bar for like an hour. That's that's music writing. That's art in general, honestly. Okay, so now the cool part with this one. Um, this is the same rhythm note as this one over here, but... The way it ends, you can give it a little bit more of like a major or a minor feel, like a bit more serious. So the harmony would have been this, but you can go like there. You see? It gives it more, a bit more of an edge. So there's this one. Hopeful. And then you can kind of hear it. It's this one middle note. That makes all the difference in giving it that, that not an evil vibe, but there's, a, there's still a little edge to it. So stuff like that, um, it's hard to describe, honestly. I'm not like an expert, I'm not a teacher or anything. But uh, that is a vibe that you can, you know, create. In my head, that still isn't that great because it feels like there's a discrepancy between this set of four bars and this set of four bars. It feels like this is singing away from this rather than being a whole melody together, which I would I would tweak, but I don't think I have a lot of time. Now, how could I spice this up? I could add orchestra. Let's see if Cubase comes with orchestra. Oh, they got strings. What is the sound? So in this case, I could make a, like a waltz vibe, like bum bum bum. So I could copy the chords from Piano 2 and use those as reference. So let's say I just want to put them like over here. Just shorten this one down. You see what I mean? I, I, didn't even, I don't even like it. I'm not even a gamer. I'm not even a real gamer, chat. I, 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 play, I play sports ball. Done. I might want to do some panning. Uh, this really comes down to, you know, what you want to do. So if you want something to repeat, by the way, you can bring out these uh, beginning and ending trackers, and then you can just click on this little arrow right here. Bam. So let's let's test it by going here. Great. You could also, if you're using Cubase 10, there's, like once you go up here, there's like this little white line. If you click on that, it, you can just swap it there too. Basically, I would just take this, and I would just, you know. Now it's just taking too much. The more, you, you'll make it drier the more you go this way, because you're taking out a bunch of those like juicy frequencies. But sometimes, I might want to. The other thing you can do is called like telescoping. I think that's what it's called. I don't remember. But you basically you can just send one of these up, make it nice and skinny kind of, and you kind of find the frequency that sounds uncomfortable to your ears. And then you would just basically like, oh, if you hear that it sounds bad, you kind of just bring it down a bit, and then you're killing a bit of that dead frequency. And that in in this case though, I don't I don't I don't care enough. <laughs> What's techno kit? Oh, now now I'm just curious. I'm just waiting for like Pitbull to feature and just go. <laughs> no. Maybe I get some light violins to do like a counter melody kind of thing. So counter melody, once again, don't know music theory. I don't even know if this is called a counter melody. Basically, I have these leads. I want to have a different kind of lead that parallels it. Just a different lead that'll fit, but will also kind of harmonize in a way so they're not trying to sing over each other. another idea <laughs> so i want to actually reuse these strings and what if instead of the vocals we just put the lead in the strings let's see what happens there's something like that simple so constant high at beat to just keep that flow going the way i used to picture this is because i used to play a rock band a lot when i was younger uh with with the boys and um the way that the 
the the charts look like for the drums and, and the guitar and all that um, is kind of how I picture melodies in my head. And this way, it's literally you would map it like you would like a rock band track. One last thing, I might just add like a little bass guitar thing. Just go dun 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 dun, just to keep the beat a little more uh, active for this part. I don't even know if a bass guitar is using these kind of mixes, but whatever. <laughs> let's 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 go. Already has a bit more of a flow, so if I bring it all in. Oh, by the way, if you want to export that track, these these starting and ending markers here. Check this out. End marker here. Take this lad. Crazy. Now the whole thing's there. Highlight everything that you want to export, which would be these instruments here. I don't need the piano or this mic. And then I go to File, Export, Audio Mix Down, File Type. You know, I would usually go Wave because that's best. You know, got that lossless grooving. Let's remove that. What will this be called? Um, but let's be really corny, actually. A dance with you. I know. I know. Okay, everything looks like it's in order. All the changes have been made. Let's see how it sounds. Hello, I hope you enjoyed uh, whatever that was. I don't know, I just felt like making a song, but I like that a lot. I might actually turn that into something because, uh, yeah, I just kept going with it. But that's the that's the fun part about making music. You just keep going, you keep stacking stuff on, and stuff works. But anyways, if you want to see more content, hit that subscribe button right there. Just click the old boy, and he will, he will grace you with occasional notifications and all that. <laughs> uh, special shout out to my patrons going across the screen right now for helping keep this channel alive and continuing to make it a full-time job. Uh, there's a link there, there's a card above, link in the description below, but uh, if you are interested in checking out the rewards, you check it out right there. You get stuff like free uh, early song downloads, you get to find out what I'll be doing in the future when I have you know plans. Uh, you can get a Google Drive to guitar and bass tabs of some of my original songs. I try to update it as much as I can. There are no covers on there yet. Um, there's backing tracks there's some you know there's there, there are things go check it out um you can pledge as little as one dollar a month and if i don't upload anything on a week or, or for a few weeks you don't get charged for any of those if i don't upload stuff less money to pay it's crazy um i also twitch into twitter uh, i love streaming on twitch it's been growing we've been having a really great time the community is amazing so uh come along and, and 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 hang out it'll be a lot of fun and that is all i will see you all later